What is up everybody? As you can see behind us, we are here on Hollywood Boulevard. As you saw, we just left Pop Century, took the Skyliner over here to Hollywood Boulevard. So today, obviously, we are here at Hollywood Studios. What are we doing first? Rise. We got an early boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. We're going to head over there. But you know we're going to do Slinky Dog, Mickey and Minnie's. What and else? get a lot of pictures. And get a lot of pictures, of course. Yeah. Anyway, as I said, we got that early boarding group, so we are going to head over to Rise, so let's get this Hollywood Studios day started. there was an awesome ride once again on Rise of the Resistance. So as I said, we had to kind of hurry because our boarding group had been called for a while. Why we were hurrying this morning is because like I said, we took the Skyliner from Pop Century. So I'm gonna give you guys a little tip. If you're gonna take the Skyliner early in the morning, make sure you leave about 20 minutes earlier than you think you need to because the line at the transfer station at Caribbean Beach was over a 30 minute wait to get to all stops. So that added a little bit to our morning. No problem, we still got on the ride fine, but just a little tip for you, make sure you leave a little extra time if you are taking that Skyliner first thing in the morning. So Crystal's out here taking pictures because as she said, that's what she wanted to do. So we're gonna go walk around Batu. she's gonna get some pictures, and then we're gonna go get in line for Slinky Dog. We jumped in line because you know we gotta do Toy Story Mania. Here's the queue all the way over here in the old Toy Story Mania courtyard, which is now Municiburg. We're all winding around here. It says 40 minutes. What time is it, Crystal? 10:35. 10:35. Let's my, see how long it takes. My guess is 25. Yeah, I would I would say 25 to 30. Yeah, highest score ever, 273. Look at Crystal, she's getting right there at 200,000. Almost got it. Almost got it. She's getting close though, oh, that's bright. We're getting close. Yeah. Now we're just waiting. So we are headed back to the resort for a little bit. Bryson's actually going to go over to Disney Springs and get us in the virtual queue for Gideon's. And I'm gonna get a little bit of work done at the hotel just really quick before we head to either probably Magic Kingdom, but we just realized that we never got our Animal Kingdom pass holder magnet. So we might have to pop over to Animal Kingdom and grab that. But the park this morning was busy, but the wait times were nothing like they were posted. So we waited for about 20 minutes at Midway Mania, and then we got on Slinky Dog in about 40, 45. So 
they were nothing like they were posted, which is always great for us because we would rather wait in a shorter line than a longer line. So we are on the Skyliner right now. It's so pretty. And then we're gonna decide what we're gonna do from there. So as Crystal said, I am heading to Disney Springs here in the rental car right now, letting the air conditioner kind of catch up a little bit before we take off. She's up in the room. She's got a couple documents. She's got to prepare for work. No big deal. We'd kind of planned on that. Today we'd always planned on me going to Disney Springs, picking up something for lunch because she knew at some point today she was going to have to do this. So we're doing it right now. And I figure why not? I'm going to go join the virtual queue for Gideon's because we're going back there tonight for dinner. So our thought is we'll go join the virtual queue. Then we can just go about our day. I was already going to go there and get Earl a sandwich for lunch anyway for us and then go do Magic Kingdom. We'll go to dinner at the boathouse tonight. And whenever our number's called, that's gonna be our dessert. We're gonna go pick up a couple cookies and enjoy that. Therefore, we're taking advantage of the virtual queue, not taking any time out of our trip that wasn't already planned in Disney Springs. And we'll still get to try Gideon's and not have to wait for six, seven hours. It's crazy, it's a cookie. It's a good cookie, I hear. But I just don't wanna waste that much time on my Disney trip. But we think we found a way. Hopefully it works. If not, maybe everybody that's been waiting in these lines, they're doing it the right way. Who knows? Let's go Disney Springs. All right, we have made it through temperature check at the Orange Garage. Let's head over and get in that virtual queue for Gideon's. And then we're gonna go have lunch at Earl's Sandwich. So super simple, we are in the virtual queue. They quoted me about three hours, but she said that you have time after that. And really, as long as you're here before close and you have that second text message saying that you can get in line, they'll let you in, is what she told me. But don't quote me on that because that was just one person that told me that. So all they ask you is your first name, your last initial, your phone number. You get that initial text message to show you that you are in the virtual queue, and that's it. And then you wait for them to send the second text message so you can go back and get in line to get your cookies. All right, well, that part is all accomplished. Now, we gotta go get Crystal and I some lunch, so let's go to Earl's Sandwich. Somewhere, we believe it or not, have never been. So, I believe Crystal did a blog post on this last week. Well, last week at the time of filming. But this is a brand new Lego Sorcerer Mickey that they just put out here at the Lego store. Look how pretty that is. Those colors are so awesome. If anyone knows, tell me in the comments. I want to know what they do to these Legos to keep the Florida sun from just beating the crap out of them. Because they all look vibrant as can be and they can't paint them all the time. There's got to be some kind of sealant. If you know, let me know. All right, I have secured the bag. We have our Earl sandwich. Time to head to the Orange Garage, go see if Crystal has her work done so we can eat lunch and head to Magic Kingdom. And there is the holiday turkey sandwich that I mentioned we were getting. This is Thanksgiving on a bun. It's got cranberry gravy, turkey, I think it's cornbread stuffing. I mean, it's literally Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner on a roll. So, Crystal's already tried hers. What do you think? It's good. It's good. It's turkey dinner in a sandwich. <laughs> All right, I'm starving, so I'm gonna go eat. So something crazy happened while we were getting in the car to head to Magic Kingdom. Our time got called at Gideon's. Super early, right? So Crystal made the executive decision here. We are gonna go get our cookies, and then we're gonna go take them back to our hotel, because it's on the way. And then we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom. So, change of plans. We're gonna go enjoy Gideon's right now. Just scanned in. You can see I got my Dole Whip mask and my Dole Whip ears, which can only mean one thing. It's time to go get a Dole Whip. Hi, Rabbit! Hey, Piglet! Eeyore! Look how cute they are! Eeyore is my favorite ever. 
Main Street USA. There's Crystal. She was quite excited to see was it Eeyore, Rabbit, and Piglet. And, and she's so excited because she has her new bag, which if you look, it has poo on it. It's on there somewhere. It's a hundred acre woods. It's a hundred acre woods. So get your minds out of the gutter because it's poo bear. All right? <laughs> anyway, Main Street USA. Beautiful as always. Time for us to go to Buzz Lightyear. There it is, the empty track with no movement, no people movers still. They've been testing them, it's coming back. At some point, it's coming back. I was telling Crystal, I think people mover and the other resorts that aren't open yet, sometime this summer, we're gonna see them. I think we see people mover before summer. But as you saw, Galactic Hero Bryson has returned. Crystal got 32,000. 34,000, 34,000. And if you know anything about her on that game, that is like quadruple million what she usually gets. Because Toy Story Mania is her jam. But, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's a humbling experience, right? It humbles you? Yeah. Okay, good. Something has to. Something has to humble you. She's better than me in every aspect of life, so really all I have is Toy Story shooting games. So there we go. But as you can see, we are walking out of Tomorrowland. We're gonna go to the hub. Because if you're a people watcher person, the hub is amazing to watch. Because there is literally an army of cast members there. And just to watch them tell all the people to have to keep their masks on, it's quite interesting. So if you're in the hub and I'm in the hub, I'm probably watching you. So keep a lookout for me. Well, it's just after that five o'clock hour here at Magic Kingdom. Let me tell you, wait times have dropped pretty drastically. Like Seven Dwarfs went from 75 to 45. We actually just jumped in line for Winnie the Pooh. It's a 20 minute wait. And then we're gonna head over to Haunted Mansion. It's a 10 minute wait, it says. So we'll see. But right now we're gonna go on a ride in the 100 Acre Woods. So we just finished on Winnie the Pooh. And unfortunately, our camera battery is about to die. Neither one of us brought another battery. So next time you see us, we'll be at Disney Springs for dinner at Boathouse. See you there. Well, if you cannot tell, behind me is the Boathouse. And as I said, that's where we're having dinner tonight. So let's get out of this darkness and go have some dinner. So for bread here at the Boathouse, looks like we have a regular whipped butter and then just a yeast roll, it looks like, that they've buttered over the top. But whipped butter, so it's going to be plenty spreadable. So yeah, there's your bread service at Boathouse. Okay, bread update. It is a sweet roll, and the butter is whipped. But unbelievably enough, it is like a hard whipped butter, and it is hard to spread. It's crazy. There you go, bread update. All right, so right here, we got some appetizers. We got the hoisin chili calamari. And then over there, we have pimento cheese, salsa roja, and some white corn tortilla chips to dip in there. So there's our appetizers, let's dig in. So first impressions of the calamari, it is fried perfectly, breaded nicely, big rings of calamari. They just are so good and they got these little bits of jalapeno in there that are fried as well. So good. And the hoisin chili sauce, awesome flavor, not spicy at all. So definitely if you're a calamari fan, 
for sure get this calamari. For dinner, I got the crab cake. Check out the size of this thing. Like, that's my hand. That's the crab cake. It's huge. And our waiter, he's really nice. His name's Alex. He said that it is 90% crab and only 10% filling. So we'll see if that's true. Comes with a little tartar sauce and some coleslaw. So I'm excited. I love a good crab cake. So I just cut into this and look at the amount of crab in there. That is all crab. That's a good crab cake. So I got the lobster roll, which Alex, our server, said is one of the top five items here at Boathouse. So as you can see, there's tons of lobster right there. Then it comes with a side of fresh cut fries and a little bit of ketchup. So as you can tell, I just hated my lobster roll. Just couldn't do it. No, it was amazing. So much lobster, so good, so flavorful. I've had lobster rolls from Boston and this rivaled it. It was pretty good. And those fries, they give you so many fries, like I literally can't eat anymore. I am stuffed. So lobster roll, two big old thumbs up. I'm ready to go to bed, I'm so full. Well, as you can see, we are back here in our room at Pop Century. You can see my awesome suntan line from wearing my hat the last few days. But uh, yeah, there you go. Lots of sun here in Florida. But that's going to do it for tonight. Awesome dinner at the Boathouse. Awesome time at Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom. Great day all around. But we got to get to bed because the next video, we're going to rope drop Magic Kingdom. And we haven't done that forever. So I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. And for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need